Hey, my beauties, you know, good afternoon. I just have to laugh. I was, <laughs> I was scrolling TikTok and I came across a girl, fairly young girl. And she said, look here, her birthday is coming up. And she literally she don't want no more words. The thank you and the well wishes. She said, God will grant it to her. She wants money. She's a big woman. You know, just keep it short and, um, and ask her, what is your banking details? She's a big woman. And through that, of the truth of the matter is, you know, everyone feels that way, but they're afraid to because they're afraid of the backlash. Everyone is really feeling the same way. When I say everyone, I don't mean every single human being. But even the ones who may, it may, it may it's neither here nor there. If they got it, they wouldn't tell you no, just like that. The only way they'll do it is if they've had bad experiences. Like people, you take it and tell them, you know, use it against them for their, for their own gain. So that outside of that, that is something I desire in everybody. I mean, it's nice when they wish you well, but it's a boy. You know, I remember gone are the days when people, you know, even if they don't, I mean, usually when they do have birthday parties, people will bring a gift. I'm not even seeing the exchanging of things anymore. And with that, you know, I went to a funeral and uh, I was listening to the person who was giving the eulogy, I think it was. I don't think it was the, was the remembrance. And in giving the eulogy, the person was saying, and I presented my friend with whatever year it was, that current year, I think, or maybe the year before, Red Rav 4. I said, I said, my ears caught that. I said to myself, Honestly, people, it may sound really bad, but I had to, I, it came across my mind. I said, people in Jamaica gift friends, platonic friends with motor vehicles. They actually do that, whether arbitrarily or for a special occasion. I have to find that person. If, please point that person out to me. I may, may have to <laughs> Me would have to see that the person there. People in Jamaica gift platonic friends and it was female it was our female friend you know who had died and so on female friend with motor vehicles as gifts i mean i hear this in other countries the united states canada you know so i mean africa somewhere you know other countries you hear that that happens like maybe like a dime a dozen where they buy their friends cars and hoses and so but in jamaica i remember not talking a sugar daddy sugar mama you know like a, a, an intimate relationship i'm talking platonic buying your friend platonic non-romantic friend a car and not just any car not like a old jalopy or broke down vehicle we shaky shake and i'm a cold nice i'm talking a brand new SUV type motor vehicle knowing the cost of it no sir but you said it must say no sir and I mean that was just one example of I mean there there are many adventures as friends good friends and I said wow I mean I, I may not even have them nothing happening in Jamaica but when I heard the young girl say look here you know I I do understand because let me tell you something people I we need to speak truth what people have done to you know we have a way of using scriptures and using good proverbs you know the proverbial proverbs and good sayings to mask our inefficiencies or deficiencies so because we want to excuse something that is unwise or wrong so it either falls under unwise or it falls under wrong we find something to excuse it. Whether it's a good saying, a proverb, some Bible scripture. So to, you know, what we do, you know, say a mean and stingy. Every day people nowadays, you can't, people do not know for free. It's friendship is not about what you can, it's about how you treat people. It's what can you do? And we go around this, we go around this. Let me tell you some nonsense. Nonsense that just as how money is important to friendship as how sex is important to marriage sex and communication don't make any ghosts fool you you cannot say that i'm your friend and you never give me anything good yet as a gift monetarily or cash or kind let's say it that way that's nonsense i don't subscribe to that miss sorry we, we can't be friends that way because i'm not going to do that to you we cannot say that we are friends and you have never given me a gift a good gift and never given me some money and vice versa i can't say i'm your friend and i've never given you a gift or never given you money money 
when I, when I say money, whether it's the cash or the kind, is important to friendships, whether relationships, obviously romantic and so on. So we're talking platonic now. Platonic friendships, just as how sex is important to marriage between a husband and a wife. I don't care what Tom, Dick and Harry wants to come with. I don't care what Tom, Dick and Harry wants to come with. When I think of the life of Paul in the New Testament and he was going on his missions, the Bible said, Phoebe, this rich woman, Phoebe, yes, because I, I think another video I said Priscilla. He had Priscilla and Aquila, the couple, you know, but no, it was Phoebe, who a rich woman who gave him money. She gave him money for his missions trip or whatever it is that he was doing, and maybe money otherwise. She gave him money. When we look at David, the Bible says David dealt with the people fairly and justly. It right away tells you that when, when the people come to him and say, Sir, you know, so we're in our trouble, we need this, we need a house, we need. Care. David, with God's help, would have provided the different needs of the people. Even his son Solomon, who God blessed with, I mean, a supernatural wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So you cannot tell me that you have a friend and your friend never get dollar. I mean, they always have to ask you, always have to borrow from you. You can never give them without them asking. That's not friendship. That cannot be friendship. When you're a friend, you think about the other person's needs, even some of their wants. We're not expecting you to be God in their lives. But what, what kind of friendship is that where we're not benefiting from each other socially, financially, spiritually, emotionally, and psychologically? We're not benefiting. So what we do, we use a lot of proverbs and sayings to mask our deficiencies and ineffective, inefficient ways. Or mean and stingy behavior. No wonder the girl have to come up and say, it's so true. When you bring your one barrage of make God, happy birthday, may God bless you richly and all of these things. At no point in time you ever have money that can give a person. I say, you know what, treat yourself to something. It's your birthday. God has blessed you with another year. Treat yourselves. We mean, you know, just a man. May not tell you the lie. Jamaican people, we mean and stingy. And, and I think that is, that is a big part and parcel as to why financially across the board we don't thrive mean <laughs> and remember the spirit of god does rest and abide with something that doesn't associate with who he who he is remember when jesus was here now if jesus was here physically right now as a billionaire the only reason why he would not be poor is because he's god the, the number of monies that he would give out to people based on their need maybe grant one and two wants to because God says he grants you above what you could ever ask or even think. So, you know, it goes over into the wants, not just the need. I was looking at this. Um, I don't remember his name. I was just looking at a research of one of those men in one of them Middle Eastern countries. Wealthy, wealthy man. I don't know if he's a billionaire or a trillionaire. Every month what he does, he will allow like a particular, let us say a particular district of people to come. And based on their need, he will grant it to them. So he had one barrage of cars. He's like, he was into cars. And if they come and they say, boy, you know, I, I'm doing this job. I really need a motor vehicle. He grants it to them. This may say, you know, I really don't have a home and I'm be trying. He grants it to them money, things every month. I remember, I, if I, wish, I don't know why I never saved the, the, um, the video. I saw it and I said, my God, Jamaicans, we, we just never experience kindness. Look at when we look at the politicians, how they treat, you know, the public sector workers, the civil servants. Mean and stingy. It's like a spirit of meanness just latch itself onto Jamaica. Like when John Crow pitched down upon dead dog. He just latch mean and stingy. My God. So when I heard a girl giving the eulogy, saying that, that you know, she granted her friend the whatever year it was, or maybe it was a year before, RAV4. I said, what? It, it would even be easier hearing her say she gave her a million dollars. You know, because the RAV4 at that time still cost far more than that. And I said, my God, may we be people like that. May we be people like that to our friends with meannesses. And that's why the country and our personal lives are not flourishing. Because mean, mean, stingy. No, sir. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
I come again to start in Jesus' name. Guys, you know what to do. Read TikTok and YouTube. Subscribe.